Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Keswick Chapel, the Chew. This is day five of week 33. This week, we have been looking at the way of Jesus provides kingdom authority. And today, we're going to bring it to a close. We've looked at the way of Jesus as one of power. The way of Jesus is one of authority. And today, the way of Jesus involves kingdom messaging. Just a, a brief recap of some of the points from earlier this week. We've looked at the stage-related model of Jesus' life, the master plan of evangelism and the eight steps by Robert E. Coleman. Today, the way of Jesus is, involves kingdom messaging. Knowing that we have Jesus' power and authority to be his ambassadors, and our mission is to go and make disciples in all the nations, what is the kingdom message? We're going to look at six points in total that will help us. So grab a pen and paper and be ready. Remember, you can always see the full notes of this on the Keswick Chapel YouTube channel, Keswick Chapel. Number one, Holy Spirit power and authority we talked about yesterday. It is given to us in Jesus' name. Looking at Mark chapter 4, verses 1 through 9, the kingdom of God is like a man who sowed good seed. Finding good soil produces a good crop, multiplying 30, 60, and some 100 times that which is sown. So the kingdom of God is about good soil, and it's about good seed and multiplication. We are involved in this kingdom purpose. Number three, Mark 4, verses 30 and 32. The kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. It's the smallest of all seeds, yet it produces the largest plant in the garden. The message for us, our faith can grow greater than you might even think possible. Matthew 13, verse 44, the kingdom of God is like hidden treasure. Finding it is a treasure worth all that you could ever imagine. Like the parable, this is worth everything. Whenever you find a hidden treasure, right, you want to you wanna get it. You want to take possession of it. That's what the kingdom of God is like. It's like hidden treasure. And in Matthew chapter 13, verses 45 and 46, the kingdom of God is like fine pearls. Once you find it, you have to buy it. You'll do whatever it takes. The kingdom of God is here and now, my friends. And this message means everything both now and in the future. Why? Because the kingdom message is meant for everyone. And as, as his disciples, we are expected to share this good news with everyone. It's priceless. It's precious. It's worth obtaining. It is worth seeking after. God has freely given us this through Jesus. And in Jesus, we have the power and authority of the kingdom message. And Jesus gives this to us freely. And he expects us to give it freely. Matthew chapter 10 verse 8 says just that. Freely you have received. Freely give. So how do we apply this? Well, we need to get plugged into the power source, don't we? And once we get plugged in, we need to stay plugged in. Anyone who knows who's ever used a cordless a corded tool knows that once you plug it in, if you go beyond the length of the cord, then you come unplugged. And once you get unplugged, it dies. We don't want to be that way. We want to remain plugged in. We want to be connected to the source. We need to remember that our authority is based on Jesus and in his name alone. And we need to be responsible with his name. The kingdom of God, my friends, is here now. It's not something off in the future. It is with us now. It is in us now as 
God's children in Jesus Christ. Which way are you choosing? Are you choosing the way of Jesus? Are you choosing your own way? Are you choosing to accept the way of Jesus provides kingdom authority and then to act responsibly with that? The choice is yours. Jesus invites us to take possession of these things in his name and then to be his ambassadors, to be his disciples. I pray that as you chew on these things, my friend, and as you read these verses, that you will seek to have eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word, that you'll have a receptive heart and mind to receive these truths, and then you'll have the boldness and the courage of Jesus to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, to do what you are led to do, that you may bring glory and honor to him and him alone. I pray you have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.